Hello, it's me. I need your help, guys. Everybody, every single person. I need all of my subscribers to help me with this one humongous issue that I've been dealing with since the beginning of its upload. Okay, this one video, this one particular video has been bothering me so much lately because of how many views it's gained. And it's just, it's upsetting to see how huge it's gotten. It, at this rate, it can hit a thousand views, and I don't want it to hit a thousand views. Or at least, let it be the first video to hit a thousand views. And you may be wondering, what am I talking about? And you may be wondering about this whole setup, but I'll talk about that later. But, Doom Part 2 is what I'm talking about. You may be questioning me right now, like, what, what about Doom Part 2? Well, I don't even know what that video is, exactly. That video was one of my first videos I've ever uploaded, and if you watched the end of the era video, you would know that that was one of the, the first, like, videos I have ever made. It's really bad, and I hate it, but for some reason, it keeps getting views, and I don't understand who's watching this trash. It got over a hundred something views last year, and it's already almost at a hundred this year. We're only halfway through the year, and it's almost at a hundred views again. Oh my gosh, who's watching this trash? It's already at like 300 something views? That's insane. For part two of a series I never even completed. Now I don't understand why it keeps getting views. It's something to do with the algorithm, or you guys want, ga you guys want more gaming videos, which is what my friends keep telling me, including my little brother. He also says that people are watching this video because they want more gaming videos, but that can't be true because <laughs> you guys don't want gaming videos. Nah, that's coming by the way. I, I have gaming videos coming up, but we'll talk about that later. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we, we need to team up to get this video to not hit a thousand views. And how are we going to do that to be... How are, we, how are we going to do this? How are we going to fix this issue? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have another video that's pretty close to a thousand views. It's like like 750. That's pretty close. That's like as close as I probably will ever get at this point. But hey, it's almost there. And it's a really bad video that you should not watch. But at this rate, I'm desperate for your help. Okay. I don't even want to talk about it. Actually, you know what? Childhood trauma. Why can't that hit a thousand views? It's really... It, it, <laughs> It's still gaining views, just not as much as Doom Part 2. Gosh dang it, I don't understand. Doom Part 2. Like how, is it in the algorithm? Who clicks on that video? The impressions click through rate is amazing, stupidly high. As in people see that thumbnail and they, they think it's a good video. Someone commented saying that I overacted. And yeah, I overacted. <laughs> Cause that, coming from somebody who Nef like watched YouTube the whole life and wanted to create something you, Yeah, 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 I definitely overacted. It's awful. That video is awful and I hate it um, And you may be wondering what this whole setup is and I'll talk about that in a second But this is parallel to what I'm going to talk about much later Which will be in the time step just in case you want to get to it But I want to talk about a little bit of my setup and what it means for the future of this channel um, Let me go ahead and shoot uh, One second Something was supposed to happen. That's nature. Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, baby. I got an actual setup. I got a light of keyboard. Haha. <laughs> so, this means that I can take YouTube way more seriously than I ever did before. Because I used a laptop to edit my videos, and that never really ended well for me. But now that I have this whole setup, thanks to, in the description will be the person's YouTube channel. I want to thank him, personally thank him so much for selling me this PC. I had to buy this by my, with my own money. But like, he's such an amazing person and honestly I can't thank him enough for this whole setup. Which means I my videos will be way more edited than now, like before. SVU anime is going to be insane when it comes out, but we need to talk about that. Um, should I be worried about that? Anyways, we should we should really 
discuss something that's been on my mind. But before I do, I do want to actually know. I have to talk about this issue first. But I want. You know, I want this channel to be positive. I want to send a positive message to the channel, even with how depressed, how angry, how lost I am right now, with everything that's been going on. If you don't know, well, you definitely know at this point with the whole Black Lives Matter movement. I've been heavily involved with the protests in my area, and being in a conservative town, I was very scared, but then shocked at how much support we got. And I've been to three po protests so far, and every single protest gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It's just amazing. And I, I really want to talk about the positivity that this has brought onto me. And I want to also spread the message to other people who are out there, who are scared, who are angry, who are depressed. Because I was the same way at some point. I wanted to really find a way to help out with this problem um, and I finally did. I, I went out there and protested in my area and I, I hope you do the same thing because I did it out in the rain and actually one of my protests ended up on the news, boom boom boom. Um, that was really cool but that's not the point of this. The whole point is that the fact that we're doing it in the first place to really spread the message that we can do this peacefully and whatnot. I, if, if, you, if you can help in any kind of way, once again, links in the description will sh send you to all the, the places you can donate, sign petitions, and whatnot. Um, I've already donated some of the money that I could. Um, I'm going to donate more when my next paycheck comes up because this costs a lot of money, believe it or not. I mean, obviously it's a piece of setup, but it was pretty cheap for a piece of setup, but I, just, I don't have much money. But the point is, is that... Um, I am tired, <laughs> very tired, devastated, I'm distraught. I'm really not happy with what's going on in the world, but I don't want that to affect the content in any sort of way, which you can see where this is going at this point. What happened to the computer? So this is kind of a break and kind of not at the same time. I don't want to work on any large project or any projects right now, but that doesn't mean you're not going to see any uploads. I have a lot of pre-recorded content that I was already planning on releasing anyways, but that's basically what you're going to get for the next who knows how long. Because I'm not in the mood to really create the content I want to create. I'm not in the right mind state to create what I want to create. And this is why this video is really important, because this whole movement is very important to me. And I come back from it exhausted, trying to do as much research into finding out what's happening and whatnot, spreading my message as much as I possibly can. I've lost friendships over this. It's very sad for all of this to happen. And I only want to spread the positivity of, a, of it all. The fact that I got the amount of people to come with me to this event, just amazing. It's just, I love the supporters so much. I love this movement. It's so important to me, but I'm emotionally exhausted, physically as well. I feel like I'm getting sick, and technically I am, but that's that's for another video, to be completely honest with you. Um, I only want to talk about the posit positive thing that this brings on, and you may be wondering why I'm losing my voice, because of the chanting, duh. But, you know, anybody who's terrified, who doesn't think they can make a change, you can, and you should. The man who set up... The man who led us and set up the whole protest, he was 16 years old. 16 years old and out here setting up a whole protest filled with other teenagers, including me. And I'm actually pretty old, but like I'm still technically a teenager or whatever. But like the fact that a 16 and a 17 year old worked together to create this whole protest was amazing. And the one that happened today was led by a college student. Just the fact that our generation is so impactful, that we can do anything. And these protests really, they really say a lot, honestly. Like, it's so inspiring to see everything. And if you want to do some kind of change, I do it. Just do it. Because there's, there's people who think the same way, th 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 there's people who think the same way you do out there, trust me. Okay, you're not alone, especially the town I live in is extremely conservative. But they support us in every single way, and I love that. 
okay? Obviously, not everyone's for the movement. Like I mentioned before, I've lost friendships over this. It sucks, you know, with the ignorance and blatant racism. And they don't, they don't realize they're showing. It's sad and tragic, but if we work together, we can solve this issue. It may take our whole lives, but I am with the fight forever and ever. Although this may affect content going forward and what I'm doing right now. This may affect, I don't know if I'm going to have a job after this, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know what my career is going to be like after this. I am terrified of the amplifications like after this is all over, which it won't be over. That's the thing, is that this is kind of my life right now, going out there and fighting for our right. And, you know, it's a fight that I'm worth, it's a, it's a fight that's worth fighting for. Our children, our future children will have to face the racism that we all have to face. And I'm okay with spending the rest of my life for this cause, you know. Although, it, it kind of sucks that, it sucks everything out of me, and I honestly, like, it, after being able to really find a way to have fun with YouTube and fun in general, to kind of have that taken away because I have to fight to literally end racism, it kind of sucks, but it doesn't mean it's over. I'm still going to work on videos, I'm just not right, I'm not in the right mindset to create videos right now. I know my videos are parallel to like real life situations and escapes of realism, but I feel like it's just not right, you know, to release or to make some kind of sort of new content. And I know people watch YouTube as a form of escapism and a way to learn. So I would rather upload the stuff that I already recorded and whatnot. Oh my God, what's happening to the computer? It doesn't work. It doesn't matter. Just know that that this fight is so important to me. But don't think, because I'm out there fighting, I won't be creating content for y'all. Now, I'm not sure how long this break will last, probably until I run out to record the content. And note that the video, the future projects I'm working on, they'll be coming out. It's just, it might not be as soon as you think. I'm not sure if this mindset that I have right now is gonna last. I was very angry, sad, and all at the same time not too long ago but right now it's a lot better because of these protests they really inspire me it's it's insane but then thinking about why it's happening in the first place makes me even more sad it's conflicting I've been so conflicted through this whole thing but I'm gonna keep on fighting cuz screw it you know if I die, I'm gonna die for my people if I have to and I hope you understand that now, you don't have to do what I'm doing, but at least support us in some kind of way by signing petitions, spreading the word, the good faith, the good message, information that's vital to us, retweet it or whatnot, if whatever so the social media platform. I do use Twitter a lot more than I used to, let's just say. That's why I said retweet. But this video, I feel like it's already long enough, and I don't, I don't want to have it be, uh, I don't want it to be extremely long, especially because I have a low recording battery. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and understanding what I'm going through right now. And I, I just want to update you all on what's happening and uh, whatnot. And I just don't want this video to be too long. I love y'all.